Yeah, Louie. Yeah. Nice How playing out there. Thank you. Good, Doug. All right, Louie, uh, that shot on 18, how good did it look f to you from the fairway? Um, yeah, it, it looked pretty good. It was uh, it was exactly the line where I wanted to pitch it a little past the hole and, and try and get it back, spin back there. I, I went with a shorter club and really made a big aggressive swing, and um, I just felt it was the time to, to, to be aggressive for that pin. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, it was very close, a lot closer than what I thought. Coming off of last week, uh, how pleased are you that you kept the momentum going into this event? Yeah, um, you know, I was I, I was happy. Uh, I was happy to play this week. Um, I was sort of didn't really want to just think about last week uh, about not playing great on that Sunday and and um, immediately quickly go back into uh, tournament mode and, and play this this tournament. So. Uh, um, you know, great track. Uh, we had a good time here this week, and um, I'm just uh, trying to to see if I can go one better than than all these seconds and thirds. What club did you have there in 18? It was a full blow lob wedge um, at about 95 yards, and and that uh, breeze was almost a lit, little bit hurting, so um, I needed to to hit a really big one. After the way that hole played yesterday, what was the how was it playing today? Yeah, yesterday, I, I mean, yesterday I had a go at it for two and, um, you know, it didn't need a great chip, but uh, uh, I made par yesterday and today I think um, I think you almost, and with that pin, it, it's it's a third shot where you can really use the left slope, you can get it close, so I think in a way if you miss your tee shot, it's, it's almost better off because you can lay it up. Um, you're going to have a tough deci decision to that pin, uh, hitting it down the middle if you, if you want to have a go at it or not. Did you drive it in the rough on 18? Yeah, took I, away the option? I pulled it left. Um, I had no chance of, of going to the green. So, again, with that pin, it's probably a blessing uh, in the sky, yeah. At 17, from body, body language, it looked like you thought that was going in, too. Yeah, it was. I mean, um, for not one second, I thought I could leave that putt short. It was it was straight down, little wind as well from behind. And, and uh, I hit a good putt. It was tracking the whole way and, and even while it was rolling out I, I, the whole time thought it was going to get there it was going to get there and then it just had a handbrake at the end there and um, stopped you know about uh, in short so th that was that was a bit frustrating on 14 you avoided the water you avoided the traps was a, was a three putt yeah it was a three putt uh, um, you know I, uh, this this week sort of was was awkward on on shorter distance putts I, I felt a little uncomfortable um, I made the putts I, I you know I got myself settled in but there was one where I misread it and I made a horrible stroke, so um, you know I had no chance of making it. Your first time here. What are your impressions of the tournament? Hollis put up a great tournament for us, and um, I would love to be back here. So it's a great venue, great golf course. Did you make it a family affair with you and Charlie? Yeah, and I had the family here, Charlie, his family here, and uh, we were in our RVs, and yeah, we had a good time. I'm good. Beautiful. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.